right, folks, it's about that time. I'm sure everybody's ready to get started on the long weekend, so let's make this quick. Who wants to go first, over? All right, don't everybody speak up at once. I'm about 10 minutes out, sir. Over. Uh, copy that, Kerr. Appreciate you. This was such a fantastic watch. There's a really great story to dive into here. I thought they did a good job of building the story slowly. It offers just enough information to carry you along without revealing too much. Um, the way it starts off with the glimpse of the missing person photo and then the photo in his car and then the shot of his wedding ring. I love the way it was done because it was just so compelling. And the piece does a really good job of kind of attacking your senses too, if that makes any sense at all. Just the way they did the lights and the music, it puts you in that scene with him and you could feel what he was feeling. So really good job with this one. I really liked watching it. Really well crafted and felt authentic to me uh, due to the very natural dialogue between the rangers right from the beginning, their banter and the plausibility of the circumstances built up the tension, but in a very believable way that didn't feel like, oh, it's one of those kind of thriller horror movies. Um, and it made for the reveal of the twist to have that full cinematic impact that they built up to. Great personalizing and humanizing with the backstory to ultimately make us care um, and made the, the reveal and the twist worth it. At the end of it, you kind of wondered wait a minute, maybe there's more here than not only meets the eye, but meets the alien size. This had some stunning cinematography and what they did with all of their soundscapes, very, very smart. What a great mystery. And they knew how to build, storytelling wise, they knew how to build this mystery and keep drawing you in and keep drawing you in, keep you right there on the edge of your seat, wondering what's gonna happen. I thought that it was brilliantly acted too. I thought that all of the, act, the main actor who was on camera most of the time did a great job, but everybody who was doing voiceovers did a great job too. Wonderful special effects that they did as far as, you know, all of a sudden the alien and, and seeing somebody, you didn't, you weren't sure where it was gonna go, but where it did go made total sense. And, you know, having him all of a sudden be there in the daylight, very smart. This was really smart storytelling, smart filmmaking. You guys did a perfect short film, thank you. Chatsworth was a really interesting one. Um, I was not expecting an alien abduction visit if you will um yeah i just assumed something bad had happened to the other cop which seems like it did um but uh yeah it was kind of this like surreal experience and it was creepy but not scary and i thought that they did a good job with the abduction um kind of having him looking up towards this light and then we see him kind of back in reality so we almost had the experience with him in that like there was a kind of this time cut and uh yeah he obviously had a very profound experience after and he seemed to be physically okay mentally probably a whole nother story but uh i thought it was really well executed and um yeah i think relying on the silhouettes of these figures rather than trying to like create a an alien out of like cgi or prosthetics was was a, a great job and I think having that mystery kind of added to the creepy layer so I really like this film. I think one of the greatest strengths of uh, Chatsworth is its ambiguity. Uh, you have... it has this air of just mystery to it and it creates a lot of questions that honestly don't need to be answered because it it, it it exacerbates that dread more um i love that supernatural feel to it and i love how mysterious that note is at the end we don't know who wrote that note whether it was those creatures if it was him himself because of how it just snaps from night to day there's a passage of time where we have no idea what happened um like there's there's completely a chance that his memory got wiped. Um, 
and that's why I think the ambiguity just works so well is because we have no idea what's going on, so we're just questioning what happened. Um, I definitely enjoyed it. This was really interesting. I really liked the uh, the kind of build into it where like you see the missing persons poster and um and you see like he has a photograph in his car so obviously it's his wife or something like that or girlfriend and then to kind of go through like the check-in with his different deputies and um the kind of build towards this kind of chatsworth place and then the abandoned car and just how everything kind of builds and builds and builds um was really really nice it was a good progression um with enough like suspense but also really believable of like obviously he's their boss and like annoyed that he can't get a hold of one of his workers um and then at the very very end to have the note that just says like the baby is safe and then you see the full picture um i thought was such a great reveal and then him just standing there like what do i do next like two disabled cards still can't find his deputy like what on earth is he supposed to do next in that moment with that information like the baby's safe like where does he go from there um i thought it was really nice they have some nice shots in the woods into the night great performance and special effects to take us two decades back in time with a message of hope. They put a lot of detail on this story and you really have to pay attention to everything and it's so thrilling and interesting that you really want to know more. And it is cryptic and engaging and it's just, it has a lot of elements to catch everyone's attention and it's just so mysterious. Uh, I love the ending. You just, ah, it's perfect. I really enjoyed it.